Earlier on Fox 9, we brought you the story of Teal Swan, an Idaho woman who says she was the victim of satanic ritual abuse. And we wanted to bring Chris Oswald back in to talk a little more about this issue. And Chris, I mean, just listening to the story was hard enough, but for you sitting across from uh, Teal Swan, it, it must have been hard to believe sometimes. And I know she is coming out to fight that. Yeah, it was three hours of sitting across from her, listening to her story. And one of the things that I asked her was, as you heard in the story earlier, do you believe this is true? because I had a hard time believing that this was true. She talked about things like watching murders of children, um, her mom hanging from the rafters of a visualization for, through conditioning, things that were just so graphic that I'm like, this can't be real. So I asked her and she said yes. And it's really hard to believe some of the things she said. You don't want to believe it. It's yeah. unimaginable. Let me ask you about one part in the piece when she talked about seeing the murders of these children. Why is there no police documentation, or is there any police documentation to back that up? Has she gone to police and, and talked about this? Yeah, so Teal filed a police report in 2005 in Utah, um, where she escaped to after her abuse right. that she claims happened here in Idaho. That police investigation never went any further than her filing the report because it was all circumstantial evidence, hmm. which is a lot of what people experience. They go to police and then there's no evidence. Teal says that a lot of it is that people, they are afraid to tell their stories, um, police can't find the evidence, things happen so quickly, they move from area to area to area so that way they don't get caught. Um, and it happens in ru rural areas that are wooded like Idaho and Utah. Did well, she say that they also would target uh, oftentimes people from uh, immigrants who maybe mm -hmm. were afraid to go to the authorities? That's exactly mm -hmm. what it is. So you don't hear a lot of missing persons reports of people that are going through this. And Teal says that's because they do target the immigrants who come in because you have two options when this happens. You can report your child missing and then you're a known illegal in the country. Mm -hmm. You then risk deportation or you can search for your child yourself and likely never find them. And that's what a lot of the children are. She said in our, in our interview that all of the children that she watched be murdered, in her words, were of um, a different ethnicity, most of right. them from Mexico. Right. My goodness. If you don't know what we're talking about, you haven't seen the stories, if you missed the top of our Fox 9 newscast, we have put Chris's stories online for you at IdahoOnYourSide.com. It'll be interesting to see, you know, if anybody else comes forward, anyone gathers in this, we'd, we'd love to hear from you. Yeah, and we've already had some people on our Facebook page comment that they believe Teal and that they've witnessed this sort of evil. So if you have comments, we want to hear them. All right. All right. Let's Chris, move to something.